Hello guys and welcome to another video. This is part 1 of my coil gun video series. Let's start with some basics. In a coil gun, also known as a ghost gun, one or more coils are used as an electromagnet to accelerate a ferromagnetic or conductive projectile. If the power is applied for too long, the projectile will decelerate and rest in the center. Power has to be cut at the right moment for the coil gun to work properly. This is normally done using an optical sensor. But here I am going to use a capacitor with just enough power for a single shot. This will reduce the complexity and I can make it smaller. I am going to use this flash circuit from an old camera for giving power to the coil. This has a 300 volt 150 microfarad capacitor and a charging circuit. Important parts are a transformer to step up 3 volt DC, a transistor which will act as an oscillator and a diode to convert it back to DC. If you want to learn more about this flash circuit, I have attached link to two videos in the description. I am using a test coil and a 1mm dia steel projectile. Old cameras have many interesting things like switches, motors, gears, springs, solenoid etc. which will be useful for this project and the future projects. I have removed the circuit from the camera. It had total 5 wires. I have designed the housing and all the other parts in Fusion 360 and 3D printed it on PLA. Battery contacts are taken from an old TV remote. I don't throw anything away. My plan was to make a full auto coil gun. It will take 1.5 seconds for the capacitor to get charged. So every 1.5 seconds, a switch has to be pressed to release a high voltage to the coil. I am trying to do that with an old 3.7 gram servo motor. All the unnecessary parts are removed from the servo and only the motor and the gearbox is remaining. When 3 volt is applied to the motor, it will complete a revolution every 1.5 seconds. So I will use this to switch on and off power to the coil. I made a wheel with two indentation, one to switch on and off the high voltage and other one to switch on and off the circuit during the same time. Later I removed the switch for the circuit since switching it off was unnecessary. Then I was faced with a big problem of the switch being welded together during contact. Voltage across the capacitor is 230 volt and the resistance of the coil is 2.7 ohms so peak current is 85 ampere. So I have completely abandoned using a mechanical switch for this. My plan is to use a transistor for this job. I will do that in the second video. For this video I will manually short the circuit. I am very bad at electronics, so if you have any other idea, please put that on the comments. For the coil, I am going to use a copper wire from this old stepper motor. I have tested a few coils to find the one with the highest velocity projectile. For the coil gun, I am going to use a paper tube. A small portion of the tube is cut in half to receive the projectile and it is fixed to a part which holds the magazine. And then the whole assembly is glued to the main body. Magazine is made with plastic from a clear plastic box. Projectiles are made from 1mm dia steel rod and have a length of 4mm. Projectiles are gravity fed into the barrel.
I have also made a tripod for the coil gun. Max speed of the projectile is 2 meter per second. I will be posting second part of the video where I will be making this coil gun full auto. Subscribe and stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video.